Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Space Crew on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So it has been several days since the last episode, guys. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, but unfortunately, that was not the cold that I had gotten. Uh, something much worse. <laughs> not entirely sure what it, it wasn't is. Wasn't COVID. Wasn't COVID. Everybody calm down. Yeah, we got <laughs> tested, not COVID. Uh, we already got COVID earlier in the year, and it was relatively minor it wasn't that difficult for us to to get through that very minor symptoms this on the other hand was was not uh you know i think it flew uh you know some fever and some some chills and extreme fatigue and just it was it was not fun guys it was a very unfun sickness so i was not able to record for several days uh jinx has also been sick uh it's been a little bit easier on her yeah our son he put up a hell of a fight yeah but she's had some weird symptoms with it too our son also had some pretty bad symptoms as well. Uh, didn't go well for him either. So it's just been, the whole house is sick, and it's just been really unfun, guys. So uh, pretty cruddy few days here, but we're finally back. Going to have some videos here for the weekend. I'm still sick, guys. So is Jinx. So there's going to be some, some cuts for all the coughing. We'll try and cut it all out. Might be kind of difficult with a game like this, though, uh, to get, you know. In the that. middle of catastrophe when yeah. you're choking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I recorded a video earlier today. It was really bad, guys. It was so bad getting through it. Uh, it was a CK3 video. Man, I had a lot of difficulty uh, getting through that that episode of just coughing through the whole video. So this is our crew. Uh, we have named them all after patrons. We'll kind of go through them real quick here. So obviously we have Praetorian. We've already seen that. Uh, if they didn't provide a first name, then we just threw a, uh, you know something from their Patreon name. Uh, the first you know, letter from their Patreon name with a period there for the first name. The only thing that really matters is the last name anyways. So this is T. Tiberius. He is our comms officer. He's got uh, a redhead with blue eyes. Uh, so that's Tiberius. Then we have Mama Jinx, of course. Then we have M. Ar Arcaria. And this is our second lady on the team with blue hair. Is that the, our security officer? Yes, she's a security officer, and... uh Can be laying down the law. The patron said Hellskin. I don't know if you meant Hellskin like this, like a white character, or like Jinx's Hellskin. Alien Oops, character. They did say human, though, so I assume it's the, uh, the lightest human color. Human color. Yeah, human color skin. So then we have Hotshot, uh, one of our gunners, our weapon officers, our green scale... Green skin. <laughs> green scale. <laughs> Alien hair. A lizard friend. He didn't specify what kind of haircut, so we get Mohawk, because that seems like hotshot. it's fitting yeah. for Hotshot. That was the name of my soccer team growing up. Really? Hot the hot shots. Okay, then. <laughs> and then we have <laughs> Alex. Good too. <laughs> and so this is the patron who said, just a just white, white male. Guy. <laughs> just white guy. Uh, so we got a white guy here. I don't even think we did any changes. No, we didn't. Yeah, we just left him as is. I think we might have changed his mouth because yeah, he had a, a silly had mouth. A but doofus mouth. But, yeah, but... Which I uh, think is the mouth that I have. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's our crew, guys. So let's go ahead and go out on a mission. Oh, we named our oh, ship. Yeah, named the ship, too. Uh, we had three good ship suggestion names. Uh, so it was kind of hard to pick one, uh, but we ended up going with this one. Remember the Core Enterprise. The, yep, the Core Enterprise. Very fitting for 2020. And Star Trek. And of course, if the ship gets destroyed, we'll need a new ship name. Which hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> so these are the two missions we've got available. Investigate the Phasmid activity. It's a low mission risk. 1,500 credits, 500 research. And then we have the Rescue Astronomer which is going to get us more stuff, and it's a low mission risk as well, so I kind of feel like we should do this one. More stuff. Yeah, more stuff. Sure. More money, more research. I like it. So let's go for it. I feel like these ones are often longer. And we're rescuing someone. Oh, you have to hold it. I always forget that you got to hold it. But yeah, I'm excited to go out on our first mission with our full crew here, guys. We're all going to die. If we had had more time. <laughs> Jinx is very negative. <laughs> Don't listen to her. I'm a realist. We got this, guys. <laughs> uh, if we had had more time today, which we didn't, we're recording this incredibly late. Uh, so if I had more time, then I would have like played a little bit because I don't remember how to play. So we're just going to jump into this. It's been three days, four days since I played. And so hopefully things go well. Uh, I believe we have to have Praetorian selected to take off here. Tiberius said the fastest route is through the asteroid belt. 
<laughs> of course it is. Uh, so we can do that route. Uh, of course, it's more dangerous. Or we can do the safest route. Which one you want to do, James? Uh, safe. We just named a whole crew. True. It's we don't want anybody safe. to die. <laughs> and then, you know, also, again, we haven't played in... in it's been four days, basically. Uh, so we should probably And there was play some delirium in between there, so... Yeah. yeah brains yep. have been scrambled. Yeah. I kind of feel like my brain's been scrambled just a little bit. I'm trying to charge this up. Hold on to your bits. And yes, I will say that every, every time. single time. <laughs> I'd say that whenever we go fast in the car, and the kids are like, "You really have to say that every time." I'm like, yes. And she does, guys. She's not even <laughs> lying. She does every time. All right, so we're at Mars here. I guess we're gonna want to fast forward this. I was expecting to be attacked. Oh, yep, we are being attacked, and I've got it on fast forward. <laughs> there they are. Nope, that's not them. That's something else. There they are. I'm like, well, we were gonna shoot it anyway. All right, so I don't think there's anybody else around there. All right, let's go and zoom in to our characters. I don't know that we need to use any abilities right now. It feels like we should be able to win this, right? Oh, we are getting hit kind of hard, actually. Okay, Alex, you need to step up your Alex, uh, your accuracy, man. <laughs> your Alex, <-er> <laughs> yeah, your Alex. -er <laughs> oh man, we are in trouble. Uh oh. Are you serious? Praetorian, get on defense so that we can protect our weaker sides here. Oh, we haven't marked these two. That's um, what the problem is. So, like, some people weren't even shooting. Like, do you want me to shoot it or not? And there's also some more coming. So this is a big, big fight, guys. So we might want to put Hot Shot because our shields are already doing so poorly. We want to have him focus fire we as need a well. Third oh shit! You know what? I didn't put anybody on the guns yet. That's what the problem is, guys. Yep. So Jinx needs to get on her gun. I knew this was gonna go bad, guys, <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't played in a while. I'm so slow. That should help. And Jinx just got on the gun, but it's irrelevant because something is damaged. <laughs> so okay. we need to get that repaired. I told you we're all gonna die. I think we got this, Jinx. The shields are down. Oh, nope. You're never going to get back on that gun, are you? No, not. So the comms officer, we can put the comms officer on a gun, but I, I want to say that, that the comms officer has like an important job they're supposed to be doing when it comes to like detecting enemies or something like that. Is that everybody? Is that all of them? Did we make it, guys? Hmm. All right. Oh, my God. We actually made it. See, Jinx? I told yeah. you. We only it's had fine. two gunners for the whole time, and we still made it. That's skills right there. You know what? Jinx can come over to her seat. All right, so Jinx will hop on over to her seat. And... Self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we're all going to die. Maybe we shouldn't have the person whose, like, reputation... That's true. You know, is rest on us all dying or not. Well, I want us to die quick if we're going to... Is something damaged? It seems like something is. Oh, yes. Something is damaged. Of course it is. Uh, no, we want Jinx. There you go. Go fix the thing. Mm-hmm. She'll go fix the thing. Beat on it, really. Is that the shields generator? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Let's see. I've Oxygen, forgotten. Oxygen, gravity, and then whatever the middle thing is. Yeah. yeah maybe shields. Maybe shields. Oh, yeah. Because it's it, blinking down there on the shields. it needs a wrench. I think that that is how you charge it up. Like how you charge the shields up. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so Jinx needs to go sit down and buckle up before we get started. We can at least charge it, though. Buckle in, Jinx. <laughs> but held. All right, so let's go ahead and mark the next location. So we had to go through the asteroid belt anyway? Yeah, it's kind of strange, since we still have to go through the asteroid belt. Hmm. Thought we were being safe. We've got enemies incoming. I think it has more to do with, like, how many enemies we would have had to fight. Oh, true. All right, so let's go to mark all them. And there's more somewhere else. This time we should probably make sure we mark all of the enemies. And Jinx needs to do her boost. So we're going to boost it, and then what we're going to do oops, is then put some points into weapons and shields. Alex and Hotshot, do they have their... Their focus, focus fire? Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't use two things at the same time, though. 
Like, cause we're already using Jinx's boost. So I feel like we should save their focus fire for, you know, later. I guess. All right, Akaria, Akaria isn't doing anything up there in the front. Did we mark everybody? I don't think we have. We gotta be constantly on that, making sure we keep people marked. I'll oh, be your sassy engineer, constantly questioning your decision making. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so on top of having to fight the enemies, we also got these asteroids coming from all over the place. You gotta fight Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. Uh, did Jinx? Yeah, she still has her boost gone. Yeah, so we gotta remember we have to keep her in her seat. Praetorian should probably go to defensive now because we are lagging on shields in just about every location. You know what? We're doing pretty good though. Like, I know we took a lot of damage in that first battle. But as far as our health goes, like, everybody's pretty healthy right now. Yeah, but it's like every Where fight we get the into. Location, here we go. Alright, so the Saturn Prometheus Outpost is where we are going. Is oh, where we so are going. aliens. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah, aliens, Jinx. Don't touch anything that looks like a weird penis mm -hmm. that'll attach to your face. Yeah. This would be for the best. I don't know why they Better go messing go with those damn eggs, man. <laughs> like, oh, this looks friendly. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> yeah. In the alien movies, they all yeah. go mess with the eggs. And then it attaches. They get a face hugger on their face. It's just dumb. Uh-huh. But I guess it, there wouldn't be much of a movie if they're like, oh, let's blame these suckers. <laughs> oh, so we're going to... Great. I think we're we have to land here. Got it. Yeah, this is the person we're supposed to be picking up, the astronomer. I guarantee there's a fucking alien in mm -hmm. the chest. He's got a face hugger. Uh, landed on him and injected something. What do they call them, the chest bursters? That's what they do. Mm -hmm. They're going to burst right through his chest. I don't trust Although, him. honestly, this does not feel like the alien movie. It does feel very Star Trek-y, I feel. I've never really been a big fan of Star Trek. I've only seen like a couple episodes. Didn't you used to watch it, though, back I in did, the day? yeah. I know it was like My super popular in the 90s. It. And I didn't mind it. It was actually a pretty good show. I know that there's like multiple series. Oh, he actually sits there. Well, that's cool. All right, so thanks for the rescue. The outpost is about to self-destruct. I suggest we escape this sector quickly. That's yeah, probably a good idea. Uh-huh. I'm watching you, Jill. Waiting for his chest to burst open. I don't freaking trust you. All right, so oh, that where... sounds like alien music. Mm -hmm. Tag a hyperspace waypoint. So where do we need to go next? So we get to pick safest or fastest route. Oh, the asteroid belt's the safest. <laughs> now that's the safest route. Let's let's go the fastest route this time. They're both asteroid oh, belts, okay. Jinx. That's asteroid belt, belt beta, and that's asteroid belt alpha. So either way, we're going through an asteroid belt. Whoa, we got to get out of here. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm going as quick as can I we can. we see it blow up? Yep. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> It's amazing. It's probably because it was infested with aliens. Mm -hmm. It is really cool that it actually self-destructs, though. I kind of wasn't expecting it to. Oh, did I just mark the other I asteroid belt? <laughs> Again, I really don't going like... back to the station. I really don't like how they took that same thing from Bomber Crew and, and added in this one. It was oh, a pain in the butt infected? in Bomber Crew. Like, what is going it's on? radiation we're being oh, hit with. Oh, I see. Because I went over there oh, where the spaceship was. Oh, we wanted to get a closer look. Yeah, because I'm a dummy. And we are not going to go. We're going to turn into aliens. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Good God. So it's been rough up to this point, guys. <laughs> but I feel like I finally got like the controls like underhand. I, I, I think I got it now. Uh, again, stepping away from any game for several days, at least when you're our age. <laughs> what age is that, is rough. mind you? <laughs> uh, so I do need a little bit of time to kind of reintroduce myself to the game. Again, if we were better YouTubers, we would have done that beforehand. <laughs> but it's like one something in the morning and Jinx has to work tomorrow. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure Good we had times. a video uh, on Saturday because, you know, we haven't had a video in days. So... Yeah, we are recording at a really odd time. And something's damaged, Jinx. You should get to work on that. Uh, this so... raggedy old shit. Did I just go get in a gun by myself? No, I had you on the gun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were just I did ready to shoot, Jinx. Uh, so let's go ahead and have one of these two. We'll do hot shot, though he's on the side that's not shooting, so. But there is enemies over there. Let's get him marked. 
I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like we're going to make it, Jinx. <laughs> I feel like we got this. Lower shields have failed, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think I should go defensive, or do you think we got this? I think I need to go get on the gun. Are you done repairing? Yeah. All right. Let's... I mean, something else is going to break, but... Ooh, who got hurt? Oh, I got hot shot selected. Oh. Go back over here. Who is hurt? Nobody. The little... I think when you selected Hotshot, it was saying that he should go fly down. Yeah, you can always put him in there to, to heal up if you want him, want him to. Oh, we have zero shields. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> I was going to get this marked. We'll probably have to put another uh, put another character into... Oh, I need to repair the reactor. Focus fire. No, no, no. The reactor's just fine. Oh. Why do I have a wrench over it? Well, remember I told you this in episode one, Jinx. That was a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you the repair sign. Oh, we can't charge that. That's right. While we're in a battle. Damn it. But you can't sleep while enemies are nearby. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could technically go. It was only 30 <laughs> seconds, but we wouldn't be able to recharge our shields. True. We're having a lot of difficulty hitting them. Well, they were far. <laughs> All right, so now let's charge it. And then blast off. So... The reason why there's a wrench over that, Jinx, is because every time, if it takes just a little bit of damage, then there's a wrench. But the health for the reactor is down there in the bottom left oh, corner. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And so it's, you know, again, if you went over there and repaired it every single time, it took a little bit of damage, then your your engineer just might as well stand next to the reactor I mean, that's with why a it's wrench. I my seat. I program with one hand and diddle it with the other. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's like right there. Oh, Lord, guys. <laughs> You're not wearing your glasses, are you? Oh, Lord. Yeah, this has been a rough episode, <laughs> guys. Hopefully Mission 2 goes better. It will. This feels a lot like the Bomber Crew series, it does. though. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But messy. <laughs> the main difference here is that nobody died. That's true. I feel like this one might be a little bit easier, the Bomber Crew. Because Bomber Crew just really threw you right into it. It yeah. was all about, like, killing like, off here, your have crew. have fun. Everyone's going to die. Yeah. Hope you didn't like any of them. Mm-hmm. All right. So we succeeded. Got a little bit of credits for spending. And hopefully, we unlock some new stuff. See if anybody leveled up and got new skills. Probably not. I think we're all, like, going to be really close to level four, but not quite there. Damn. Or are we level four? No, nah, we're level three. Oh. So we did open up the oxygen mask mark one. This oxygen mask contains an extra large personal oxygen supply. And then we opened up the standard shields mark two, a slightly improved shield recharger. It creates fairly basic shielding and recharges slowly. So we'll have to take a look at that and see if these are things that we want to get. Uh, so we'll look at the system first here. And that is the new shields generator. Uh, so just looking at the differences here, it seems like it's just better overall. Yeah. Improved shield recharger. So that's good. And maybe I won't have to repair it so often. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get that. It's going to be a thousand credits. And then with the crew gear. Mama needs new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> So we got the, I was just sitting there staring at them for a while. <laughs> I was waiting for the it's little screen to pop crew. up. So the thing that we got would replace the helmet. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. So it's an oxygen mask and it looks like it doesn't slow you down at all. Can I have it? And yeah, it gives you extra oxygen. So we'd want to give it to, to crew members who don't have helmets on, you know, that don't need the protection. Technically, Tiberius, the comms officer, doesn't need the helmet, so we could give that to him. But yeah, I think Jinx definitely should wear it. Most definitely. It looks uh, so cool. Yeah, I think that'd be really helpful for her, and it doesn't affect her speed. Uh, the security officer, is there a reason why we didn't give the security officer a helmet? No. <laughs> I think we just forgot. Did I want her to not be slow? I know she does Maybe, move around a bit. She's got to go fight aliens. She does have to move from the gun to her seat. And that's not, like, super far. We give her a mask, though. It matches her hair. Yeah, it does. Uh, so basically, Just it'll ladies. only be the ladies alive 
if we have some oxygen problems. <laughs> <laughs> Only the, the ladies are uh, smart enough to have the, the extra oxygen. So we have some medium risk missions. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if we should do that just yet. Unless they have a greater reward, which it doesn't look like it. Uh, well, I guess they're okay. But we can't even research anything just yet. Let's transport some supplies. That hasn't even been unlocked. So yeah, really when it comes to credits, these aren't that much more than the transport supplies. Though I want to say that the transport supplies is like a, a repeat. Oh, Since it has that yeah, little it you know, like that. repeat symbol there. So I guess we can clear out some plasmids. So yeah, let's do like a new mission that we haven't done yet. Yeah, we'll do this one. That'll get us 1,500 credits. Going down, aliens. And 500 research. I'd at least like to meet the aliens. I can't forget that we have the, the slow time thing that we can do if, if things get rough. And we, you can always press it. Yeah, we have a little meter up there that allows us to slow time temporarily. And just kind of help you, uh, you know, get things done. I feel like maybe we should have gone with Pickle Tickler for the <laughs> ship name, for that, as many pickles as we're in. That was one of the, the name <laughs> suggestions. I don't think we mentioned that, but yeah, that was one of the name suggestions. Was it Pickle Tickler or Tickle Pickle? <laughs> I think it was. Because those are two entirely different things. <laughs> I think it was Pickle Tickler. Okay. I might be wrong, though. Could have been Tickle Pickler. Well, <laughs> or Tickle Pickle. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. <laughs> I was going to get this person assigned here. So, is that the only... Yeah, it looks like we only have one way to go. So we don't have to make the decision on whether we want to go with the more difficult route. Though, you know what? That last time, we went with the more difficult route, and it wasn't really... It didn't really seem all that difficult. No, the, it the fastest route? Yeah. Than the other way. Yeah, the, the little energy thing always messes me up. Yeah. Because I'm thinking that, like, something's like, why wrong. Why have we lost power? Yeah. Yeah, it messes me up, and I like, forget if that if it's... If it's not a problem, don't complain about mm -hmm. it, ship. All right, so let's go in and get... Oh, there's enemies incoming. I guess we'll fight these guys. If I can find them. I know what those little red things are. Where they are, be at? They're, they think, make hmm. me think that they're enemies. We got enemies incoming, but I cannot find them. Is the com officer in place? Yeah, Tiberius is in place. Oh, maybe they just weren't close enough? Maybe. We knew they were coming. We just didn't know where. I think that's all we're doing in this mission is just killing these, killing them these all. aliens, yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's have Jinx use her boost ability. Let's go ahead and boost our weapons, boost our shields. Reactor efficiency, 150%. Thank you, Jinx. All right, so we'll try and like spread out the use of our shields. I do expect a lot of combat here. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you just hang out behind the ship like that? That's silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you think you'd use your? They <laughs> just stand there. They're trying to say hello. Maybe they're trying to get on board. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. They I think the be. shields have Is to that be one down. Marked? Yeah, I guess we're shooting at them. Yeah, yeah, it's marked. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> Who's on that oh, side? Nobody's on oh, that nobody's side. on that side because Jinx right. is using her ability. That's why. Oh, we got more enemies. Let's get them marked. Oh, oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, all right. Goodness. So what we should probably do is Jinx still using her ability? She is. Uh, what we should probably do is have focus Alex fire. focus fire. So I think Jinx's ability is just about over. And then we'll have her move her to, over to her seat. And we should probably have Praetorian there. There's no shield. do defense. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right, Jinx. All right, so you're done. Let's go ahead and have you get into your chair. You'll be fine. You got yeah. extra oxygen, Jinx. Yeah, it's fine. So if I fly off the ship. <laughs> oh, you I'll know what? We don't have there. any gravity. Gravity, But you we know what? You should probably gravity. fight. Yeah, I think That's you should fine. probably focus on fighting, Jinx. We should probably have Hotshot also focus fire. Everyone needs to focus. Yeah, it feels like we're kind of in, in a pickle again. All right, he's doing defensive. I don't know. We can take a look. Yeah, we'll just sweep through here. Make sure. Yeah, it looks like it. I think it's just these two enemies yeah, left. I think that's it. I don't see anybody else incoming. We might have another wave come. True. I feel like we're doing a good job, though. Gravity generator requires repair. I know. I, know. Oh, I, I guess maybe we should repair it because it looks really badly damaged. Yeah, it's like pretty maybe damaged. Irreparable. 
I think we did it. All right, so let's get Jinx over here damage or fixing this. <laughs> Damaging it. That's kind of what she's, she's doing. Beating it on, beaten with a wrench. Mm -hmm. And we'll have Akaria go back to their seat. And I, I think we're good like to go, right? I like floating around. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to Earth. That was a good fight, I feel. Got some good, good experience. Our Just ship's speed all this up. up. So it doesn't look like we're noobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that it shows the damage uh, when you come back in. You can see uh, how damaged your ship is. All right, so let's go and land on Athena Station. All right, we're all good. And complete our second mission we for today. We did so good. I feel like we did a great job. Good I job, feel like we team. did a good job. What am I? What am I doing to hot shot? Mm, maybe just chit chatting. <laughs> I would hope. Jinx, giving him a massage. <laughs> or we're talking about how. Yeah, look at all that damage, aliens man. Aliens are mistreated on the Athena. <laughs> <laughs> look at how damaged that side yeah, is. That's pretty bad. That's your side, Jinx, because you weren't over there I shooting. I know. And you're like, oh, go over there. There's no glass or anything. <laughs> on the Nothing ship. to protect you. <laughs> all right, so we won. Good job, crew. All right, so we should have leveled up now, level four. We'll see what we unlock at that level. Now I got evasive piloting, and stealth Akaria mode. got stealth mode. Nice. All right, we'll have to take a look exactly at what that does. So the evasive piloting performs evasive maneuvers to reduce the chance of getting hit. The stealth mode renders the ship invisible to enemy fighters. Weapons officers will not fire. Oh, interesting. So you can actually play so like a stealthy sneak? game, yeah. If you're just trying to get through a zone, I think. Like just trying to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what Instead you'd use it for. Stop and the question everybody. is, can you use it when you're already in combat? Probably not. I don't know though, because it's like as soon as you load into an area, they throw the enemies mm -hmm. at you. Uh, engineering tool. This advanced engineering tool greatly improves the efficiency of repairing ship systems. I'll take it. So that's what we'll be equipping Jinx with. So I'm guessing that that's the the extra slot that we talked about last episode. The custom loadout, the holster slot. So really, only Jinx should oh, have that's this equipped. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I love me some holsters. <laughs> so we'll equip it on Jinx. And Jinx is looking super cool now. I feel like everybody I need to is super jelly. My clothes, though. Why? Because that green just does not go with the black and red. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to change your clothes, Jinx? It's fine. What do you want to wear? I guess green. Well, do we have or green? Or white. I don't think we have green. That white, is, that one's good. That this one? one? You want yeah. this one? All right. All right, so she's the only one that doesn't fit oh, with the rest man. of the crew. I'm wearing white, though. What if I poop my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Are you really concerned about that? I mean, shit gets scary around here. <laughs> oh, what is the training thing? Have we looked at this before? No. Can we go through some, like, you know, teamwork training? Oh, okay, things? okay. That's the secondary skill. So it allows you to. Uh, we, we had this in Bomber Crew. So it allows you to give, like, a secondary skill for your character. So, for instance, like with Jinx, because she's on the gun so often, same thing with Akaria. Uh, you'd want their secondary skill to be gunner, uh, so that they would also have some of the gunner abilities. Uh, again, though, we can't get that until a later level. I was thinking that we were going to do some of those like trust exercises, like the fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to say that's going to be the end of the episode, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we're not going to have time it. for another mission, unfortunately. Uh, but all the missions you'll notice, <laughs> except for the repeat one, are of a medium risk. So there's not going to be any more uh, attempts to avoid the, the, you know, the more difficult uh, missions. We're going to have to do one of these next episode. Now, we do have 2,285 credits that we can use to like upgrade some guns or something. I'm not entirely sure what we have available to even, to even get, though. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to do one of these three missions. An escort mission, which those are always fun in video games. Everybody loves those. <laughs> uh, clearing out enemy forces, or clearing out Phasmin forces. I don't know what the difference between these two oh, are. Aren't they all enemies? Because aren't they all Phasmins? Yeah. <laughs> There's a cluster of invaders, invaders. near Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not how you pronounce that, Real Jinx. mature. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Uranus. 
It's Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Sector must be cleared out. This is no laughing matter. <laughs> I feel like we should do that one. <laughs> uh, and then this one is at the Europa Outpost. And then this one here is near the asteroid belt. So we're not going to do that one. We're done with asteroids. For now, at least. So yeah, I guess we can go to Uranus. Or we can go to your anus, <laughs> Jinx, if you want. Oh, we're going there. Uh, you know I love going to Uranus, so... <laughs> Uh, is there anything we can get before the mission, though? I don't know that there there is, guys. Yeah, I don't think we unlocked anything new for the ship. Like, we could change the auto cannons, uh, and, you know, they would do more damage if they were plasma cannons. The reason why they have auto cannons, though, is because if you lose all power, if you only have the plasma cannons and you have no ability to defend yourself. Oh, yeah, that would suck. Yeah, so I kind of feel like we should keep the auto cannons on here. I, I bet we'll eventually get like uh auto cannons mark twos uh so yeah i think we'll just wait on that one i don't think there's anything else oh wait a minute we can always get more escape pods or different equipment we're all setups. going down together like here we no only one have one survives. gun jinx <laughs> so we could always get more guns okay, yeah, there we probably would need more guns or helmets or whatnot although i don't really see the purpose of having the guns right there True. at this location the problem with that is the aliens come on I know, right and there. Then they'll grab that gun. Well, they don't grab the guns, <laughs> but you have to like go through the aliens to get your guns. Yeah. Uh, so that's. I feel like the guns should be in a different location. True. So we might want to move these around. I'll, I think I'll take a look at this guy. Space suit. At the equipment, and maybe we'll make some adjustments here, change a few things, make them a little bit more like logical. You know, not have your guns. Yeah. I understand why they're there. The idea is that when you're getting off the ship to do a mission, you need to get the gun and go off the ship. But again, you don't ever do that in the game, so or as far as I know. So really, there's no practical reason to have them right there. It's, it's actually a, a bad place to have them. So we'll change that up. Maybe change a few other things. Not entirely sure just yet what we'll do. I'll take a look at it. But we also have some slots here where you see we only have one item. So we could always add another item there. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll make some adjustments with the equipment. It should probably add some extra escape pods in case shit really gets bad. How much is it per escape pod? Oh, these are expensive. Yeah. That's oh. why I said we're all going down together. I mean, I guess we only need one <laughs> to save Jinx. <laughs> you know, she's the only one that needs to be saved. Yeah, you're all going down together. <laughs> well, I'm the captain, so I gotta go down with the ship. Well, if you go down, then I gotta go down. I'm like the last one to go in in one of the, the uh, uh, pods. All right, so that's unfortunately going to be the end of the episode. I can play this game all day, man. I love these games. These games are fun. Uh, so I do hope to see you guys on the next one. We will have a video on Sunday. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode here, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.